Well, here's what I've got going on. I've got three of my old cattle panels that I had when I had some chickens. I was using these for kind of a chicken tractor type thing with PVC and all that. And uh, so I've kept these cattle panels for a while. So I went to Tractor Supply, got me another cattle panel. And uh, this one you can tell is a little bit different. It's, it looks like they're all spaced evenly. Whereas these old ones are spaced a little closer together here at the bottom to a couple rows at the bottom are closer together. Anyway, it doesn't matter to me as long as they're 16 feet by 50 inches. That's what these are. And um, I'm gonna put all four of these together now. I put three of them together earlier just to kind of see what they looked like up in a circle. And that's a little bit of an issue. Well, not an issue. Uh, these are a little curved from the being in a hoop shape. Um, well, uh, kind of a U shape uh, with the hoop chicken tractor. I had them been up in a hoop for a while. So they kind of took that shape. So this fourth one that I just bought is straight. But I mean, th this is for sheep. So I don't think they're gonna mind as long as they can get to the grass and as long as they have grass and water and maybe some salt and whatever else i put in there i think they'll be fine i'm kind of excited to get a couple sheep to start out and see what happens here so this is 16 by 16 which means it'll be about 256 square feet once i put the fourth panel in here and i'm not sure what i'm going to do i've seen some people have a roof on top of theirs some people don't have a roof i mean in reality i probably don't need a roof but I, I think i would like to put just a small enclosure not necessarily an enclosure but just something with a maybe a couple walls on it and a roof to kind of keep the wind off of them uh, especially in the winter time i don't want them to get too cold Maybe I'm too much of a city farmer. <laughs> if you can even call me a farmer. Uh, with only two sheep, I don't know if that really counts. Um, but I'm, I'm excited to see how this turns out. This is the very, very cheap option. These were about, I think I paid for these cattle panels. I think they were $28 a piece from Tractor Supply. And that's not too bad for 16 feet long. And this new one that I just got, I think it was in the mid thirties, about 36, maybe $38 with tax. So it was a little bit more, but that sure beats those 200, $300, uh, very sturdy panels, uh, almost like gates, um, that I've seen some people have. And I'm like, well, yeah, I guess that would hold up, but I'm going to spend near a thousand dollars or more on just a little 100 200 square foot sheep tractor i mean maybe if you were doing this for a full-time job it'd be worth it but at that point you might as well just buy a fence so that's what i'm doing here today all right i got the fourth panel up it's looking more like a sheep pen now of course i've lost my steel wire so i'm gonna have to go find that wherever i placed it in the grass okay okay i found my steel wire it was in the grass right here beside the cattle panel I'm walking all over the yard trying to find it where i set it down turns out it was right in front of me so i'm gonna connect these together do a old jimmy rig redneck cattle panel sheep tractor and see what we got going on i don't know if i'm gonna put wheels on this thing or not i've seen some people have wheels on there and I mean, with the size of this thing and the weight of it, I don't see a need for wheels. I think I can move this uh, as, as lightweight as it is. I should be able to move it without wheels. Uh, we'll see about that in the future, though. If I add anything to it, it's probably going to get heavy. <laughs> 